Welcome to our tutorial about the punch tool. Let's start by creating a profile, a rectangle. Actually, let's make it a square. I'm going to apply equal relations. And we'll dimension one side, 70 millimeters. OK. And let's exit the sketch. Activate the face command. OK. Here's our primary plate. Before applying the punch tool, we need to create some center points. I'm going to drop two center points on my plate here and here. And let's finish the sketch. And we're ready to activate the punch tool. It's on the Modify panel of the Sheet Metal tab. The punch tool directory opens up. In Invent, the punches folder is located inside the catalog folder of your application direct. The punch tool directory contains a list of ready-to-go punch features. They've got the extension IDE. This stands for Eye Feature. We're going to learn a little more about eye features later in this tutorial. Let's begin by selecting the keyhole punch. And let's click OK. The punch tool dialog window opens, and we've got two previews of the keyholes on our primary plate. Inventor automatically found the center points that I just created. Let's hold down the control key and deselect one of the center points. The preview is now gone. Let's go to the geometry tab. On this tab, you can basically take care of any dangling geometry. You can also specify the angle value for the keyhole placement if you'd like to rotate it a bit. On the Size tab, we specify some size parameters for the punch. Length, diameter, slot width, fillet in the case of the keyhole. Notice that these size notations are in inches. If you want to use inches, be sure that the letters I, N appear here. Otherwise, since our part is in millimeters, the number one without the annotation I, N for inches will be interpreted as one millimeter. And here is our keyhole punch. Let's right click on the I feature and share the sketch. Now activate the punch tool again. Let's check out a different I feature, D sub connector. Open. Once again, we specify the angle of the punch on the geometry tab, as well as the size on the size tab. Finish. Let's create one more punch. We need a center point. Finish the sketch. And activate the punch tool. Let's select Round Emboss. Click Open. We need to select our center point. And here's our preview. Of course, for this example, we don't need to specify the angle. On the Size tab, the diameter is 1 inch. Let's click in this field. I see a drop-down menu, and it's got four different values available. Basically, this I feature was created with a list of acceptable values. OK, let's finish up. Click Finish. And here is our Boss feature. This concludes our first tutorial about the punch tool. In our next tutorial, we're going to learn how to create custom punch features.